it's all going to be okay. The um, the end of the story has been written. Um, the battle's already won. I think for if you're listening to this as a parent who maybe you know your kid has an unhealthy relationship with social media or even you do or you're a community group leader and you know that people in your community group are caught up in things on social media, habits, addictions that they shouldn't be or you're a pastor and you feel like, man, my church, like folks are just getting a lot more feisty and challenging my authority in my church than they used to. And you're beginning, beginning to wonder, is this because they're on social media a lot and they're fighting on social media and that's spilling over into my church? I've heard that story a lot. If you find yourself in this sort of desperate spot in any of those places, I say at the opening of the book that social media is the most powerful discipleship force in the world today. And, and I think that uh, because the average adult spends two and a half hours a day on social media and we don't spend two and a half hours a day doing anything else except sleeping and working. Um, so I do think that's true. However, I think the Holy Spirit, though not a force, is a much more powerful discipleship force in himself than even social media, and that God can overcome social media um, mm. because he created the people who created social media. Remember, social media is not, as much as it feels this way, social media is not some alien technology that was you know dropped onto us from elsewhere. This is why I have no problem claiming that social media is bent toward evil and sin and not a neutral force because humans who are broken and bent towards sin built social media. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, we, we wrote our biases into the code. And so um, I think if you are needing a word of encouragement, no, you don't need me to tell you. It, it's kind of scary out there sometimes, especially with regards to social media and how we feel like people are being discipled by social media more than anything else. But the Holy Spirit can overcome that. Working through you in your faithfulness, in your leadership, in your discipleship of others. Um, the Holy Spirit can use 30 minutes in a week to overcome two and a half hours a day mm. um, in your coffee date that you have with that friend in your community group. The Holy Spirit can use that to push back against the lies those people may have been fed by their Instagram feed for two hours a day over the course of last week. Um, and so while I, I advocate in the book for fighting time with time and how intensive discipleship and spending a lot of time with people is very important. I do think the Holy Spirit can work in very short periods of time and in side conversations after church and after community group or whatever else. But but we need to get ourselves in the room with people. Mm -hmm. I think we need to not be sucked into the idea that we can do things, that we compete with online influences with more online influence. I don't think that's the right answer. I think we do have to fight time with time, but I don't think we fight social media discipleship with Christian content on social media discipleship. I think we do it by getting people in person and, and it, doing embodied ministry together. Um, and I just want to encourage you that the Holy Spirit can work through your work. Um, you don't have to try to do it on your own. And, and the God who made the people who made social media is the God of social media. And so um, you can trust him to disciple your people, even when you feel like you maybe are incapable of doing so.